Hey everybody, it's Mr. Boynton here. It is Friday, April 3rd, 2020, and I wanted to give an update on how things are going and what's to come, and also our student showcase. So I have some photos and some some videos that uh, a, a lot of you have submitted that I want to share. Thank you so much for doing so. And um, again, keep those pictures and videos coming of, of, of things that you, you're all doing at home. So thank you very much. We'll get to that in just a second. So first of all, uh, we have been, we are finishing our second week of the learning packets that you received in the mail about two weeks ago. And uh, we appreciate everyone's hard work in, in working on those. As we go into next week, we are continuing the same type of format. Um, you'll be receiving in the mail this weekend or, or Monday or maybe Tuesday some additional things to, to work on to keep you busy um, for, for, for next week. It's meant to be light. Uh, we don't want to stress anybody out. We know these are tough times and uh, we're all adjusting to, to this. So just do the best you can with what your teacher sends home. And um, as we get into the future weeks here, um, one of the things that schools across the state are expected to do is to come up with a way that we are continuing learning, providing new learning to students. Uh, this is posing obviously a challenge because we are not in school, in the building, but we are all uh, home um, needing to continue learning in some fashion. So we are still working on what this will look like, but mostly I'm predicting that we will still be providing a level of work that is sent home in the mail and trying to ensure a strong level of communication uh, with with students and 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 families. One way that a lot of schools and even schools in our district are doing this is through technology. And we completely understand that that Berlin is a bit spotty when it comes to uh, connectivity to to the internet. So we are trying our best to ensure that we are not relying too heavily on technology and making sure that we are uh, providing a level of equity for how we are going to move forward with, with, with student learning. Uh, in, in the packets that you'll be receiving this weekend or the beginning of next week will be a letter from me and a, um, a, a user agreement for you to be able to sign out a school Chromebook. Um, each student in Berlin, grades one to six anyway, have their own assigned Chromebook. And we've now created some simple procedures for you to be able to sign it out if you so need it and uh, to be able to use um, at home. So in the letter, it will describe some simple steps to be able to, to give us a call, to sign out, and then to get your Chromebook either picked up or delivered. Um, but check out that letter. Uh, so you'll have to sign the user agreement um, and uh, we'll be able to get a Chromebook to you probably by, definitely by the end of next week. So that is one thing new that hopefully will help with this with this transition. Um, in terms of, of internet access, I am gonna be sending out a list of, of uh, I guess companies that have provided some level of either free access or a you know reduced rate of of uh, uh, um, of a internet plan. Um, it's the best I think we can do right now to help get access at home. But again, the goal is to not that make that not be our primary mode of 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 instruction. Um, so please be patient as we navigate this this new area. That being said, I want to present to everybody the uh, student showcases that came my way this week. If you've sent something and it's not in this video, it'll be in the next one. So again, thank you for uh, sending those videos and let's take a look at what we have in store. Our first showcase is from Riley and Taylor Wright. Riley is in third grade in Mrs. Downing's class, and Taylor is in kindergarten in Miss Desiro's class. 
And there are two pictures here, a little bit of fun outside, making a heart in the snow. And also, you can see Riley and Taylor in front of a maple tree with some maple syrup, maple sap buckets. And uh, they shared that they have been boiling sap into maple syrup and just the other day made a half gallon of syrup. And fun was had by all. So thank you, Riley and Taylor and the Wright family for sharing these photos. And uh, I hope the syrup season, the sugaring season, continues to be successful. Next we have a series of photos from Cadence McAllister, who is making a, a tied-together blanket. And these blankets, you take fabric material, and uh, instead of sewing the edges together, <clears throat> you tie them. So here we have Cadence making a, a tie-together blanket. Looks fantastic, Cadence. It's great to see you keeping busy and doing some artistic work at home. So thanks for sharing, and Cadence, we hope you're doing well. Here we have some pictures from Hazel Galligan Baldwin. So her and her brother, who is a future Berlin Bobcat next year, coming into to pre-K, have been doing lots of art projects, and they've made puppets. They wrote a version of Jack and the Beanstalk to perform, and Hazel has been doing lots of reading. Just read Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Great job, Hazel. And uh, also doing some yoga with her brother uh, that you can see here. So awesome job keeping busy with art and creativity and reading and and moving your body with some yoga and some physical activity. So great job, and uh, it's great to see you and hope you're doing well. Our next pictures are from Grant and Layla Como. You can see Grant here reading to his pup named Mocha and Layla in the kitchen making cotton candy, which looks like a lot of fun and uh, delicious at the same time. So Grant and Layla, thanks for sharing your pictures. It's great to see that you are keeping busy and doing well. We have two fun pictures from Addie Miller, who wanted to share her pictures from her birthday, celebrated at home on March 29th. Here we have Addie and Owen um, making a cake and uh, enjoying that cake. Owen, of course, helping Addie blow out the candles and also a balloon pit that they played in. So that looks like a lot of fun and a great way to spend your birthday. So, Addie, happy birthday. Thanks for sharing these wonderful pictures. And uh, we are celebrating your birthday in spirit. So thanks for, for sharing. Happy birthday. We had two wonderful pictures sent in from Thomas Yefchak. And in these pictures, he is sharing that he had a wonderful picnic lunch with his dad and explored the woods near his house. So thank you, Thomas, for sharing these wonderful pictures with you and your family. And um, it's great to hear that you were doing some exploration outside in the woods and uh, spending some time outdoors. So thanks, Thomas, for sharing. It's great to see you. We hope you're doing very well. And the Nichols sent in this picture of Ashley, who went out for a walk on Richardson Road recently. She had binoculars and was doing some bird watching. And they came across a very cool old wasp nest. It, you can see damaged at the bottom uh, and not inhabited any longer. But it was the size of a basketball, according to the Nichols. So awesome job getting outside and uh, using some some tools to do some, some bird watching. It's always great to have your, your phone or your camera around so you can take pictures of of anything that you might find out there in, in nature or, or anything that you're doing. So thank you, Ashley, and thank you, the Nichols, for sending in these pictures. It's great to see you, and uh, hope you're doing well. All right, next we have Mrs. Liptak, who sent in a picture of kiddos that she is having to watch right now. Uh, including a picture of her littlest one. Thank you, Mrs. Liptak, for sending in these wonderful pictures. Brittany and Jason LeClaire sent in their school spirit picture for the week of them wearing their Berlin Bobcat attire with another friend joining in the middle there. Thanks so much for sending in this picture and their puppy, whose name is Groot, Looks like he's having a wonderful, comfortable time, too. And I love the green collar. Matches well. <laughs> so thank you, LeClaire's, for sending in this picture. Thanks for showing your school spirit. We have a picture of Olivia Capron here, who is outside in her backyard with her Berlin Elementary shirt. That looks really awesome. 
I love the uh, picture of you with your dog. It looks like you guys are having a fun, safe, and happy time there. So thank you, Olivia, for the great picture and showing your Berlin spirit. And we have a number of wonderful pictures from Ashton He in kindergarten, who sent a bunch of pictures of some of the wonderful activities that he's doing at home. Looks like we have everything from games and drawings and reading and all kinds of great stuff that they've done to make home just like school. So some nice ideas here and some fun activities. And um, thanks for sending this in, Ashton. And I hope you guys are doing well. Looks like you guys are. So be safe and continue to have lots of fun learning at home. All right, we got 20. What's next? 21. 22. 22. 23. No, 23. 24. We have this wonderful picture of Alex Zandi and her dog Scout in their Berlin attire. It's so nice to see everybody with their pets. And even in this picture, Alex dressing up your dog as well. That's so wonderful. Thank you so much for sending in this picture. Alex, we miss you. We hope you're doing well. And uh, keep up the good work. I want to thank Mrs. Young for sending in this picture of her and Mr. Young showing their Berlin Bobcat Spirit with their their matching shirts. I really like those shirts, guys, and thank you for sending in this picture. Great to see you. Hope you're doing well, and uh, thanks for showing your school spirit. And we have some pictures from, from Marley Bell, who sent in some pictures of some things that she's been up to. Apparently, she rearranged her room. It's great to see that you took a little bit of time to to tidy up at home. It's definitely something we got to do is to keep our home areas clean for our family. Thank you, Marley, for doing that. Some other pictures of Marley cooking and also doing some schoolwork. So Marley, keep up the good work. Glad to see you and um, we miss you very much and uh, hope you're doing well. So thanks again, everybody, for sharing your pictures and your videos. Again, keep them coming. We really look forward to seeing what everybody is is doing uh, at home when it comes to learning and time with your family and again um, keep your eye out in the mail for those packets and uh, let us know if you have any questions be safe out there this is mr boynton i'll talk to you again soon